Hey, underage drinkers, prom is right around the corner. And as much as we'd like to believe, our after parties will consist of family-friendly board games that usually isn't the case. For some people, with after parties comes drinking, and with drinking plus reckless teenagers comes binge drinking. Binge drinking is the consumption of an excessive amount of alcohol in a short period of time. Binge drinking can lead to vomiting and passing out and even death. If someone has passed out at a party and needs obvious medical help, what can you do? In most cases, teenagers refrain from calling 911 in fear of the legal consequences them and their friends could face. We sat down with Officer Morse to learn about the legal consequences of underage binge drinking. The chances of everyone getting an MIP are probably pretty high. MIP stands for minor in possession, and typically if it's a first offense, the punishment is diversion, a lesser form of probation that keeps the charge off of records. But if you're doing the right thing, a compassionate cop and, or someone that's just, you know, not trying to hammer the kids could give you all a break and just call your parents and have you all picked up. But what happens if 911 isn't called? Depending on what happens to the passed out minor, the consequences could be a lot worse. Uh, I mean, if they're just left there and they vomit and pass out, or if they die, then everyone that knew that that person was in need of first aid neglects to provide that, you could be charged with several things. It could be battery, abandonment, you know, um, we could come up with a million different, different charges. It would just depend on what happened to the juvenile. What can be done from a medical perspective? After 911 has been called, it is important to keep your friend turned on their left side while laying down with their head and neck supported to keep their airway clear. This will prevent them from choking on their vomit and potentially dying. Overall, if someone is unconscious, it is always best to call 911 just to be safe. The hardest part about alcohol, especially in juveniles, is it doesn't take very much. 31% of our fatality accidents are usually with alcohol and with juveniles ages 15 to 25. Anyone that needs medical attention you have to do your best as, as a human being to render aid and, and get them that attention they need. Stay safe, BVN. Walk it, walk it.